welcoming everyone. I'm Tanya Dennis. I'm the campus leader for the Awakening House of Prayer here in Atlanta. And I'm so excited to see all of you, see your faces. So many of you I have not seen and, and many of you I have. So I'm, I'm super excited to see your faces again. We um, are a, a prophetic and apostolic um, house of prayer here in um, Atlanta. And um, we are under the leadership of Apostle Jennifer LeClaire. So we're excited to be um, pretty much, I think one of the first houses of prayer started here in uh, August of 2018. So we're really excited to have a um, to have an actual house of prayer. We've been meeting for all of that time at the Wyuka Road Baptist Church in Buckhead. We know that that is a very strategic location to be meeting in the city of Atlanta, and we've accomplished so much. So many that are on this call have seen your faces. We have. Um, decreed and declare and made awesome um, declarations and seen prayers um, come forth and be um, um, answered by the Lord every, I mean, in so many ways, everything from um, violence uh, ending to putting people into position, office, laws being passed, le legislation being passed. And we just thank God for that. This is a corporate house of prayer. And I want to say up front, um, Apostle just uh, recently, I, I just listened to a podcast she did about the difference between a, a house of prayer and a church. And I've heard a lot of people say, um, or, or send an email saying, um, I like to come to church on Sunday. Where, what time is your service? And we are not a, a, a church. Um, we are house of prayer and a house of prayer focuses specifically to pray corporately um, at, for the initiatives that God um, has, has spoken. Uh, and for us, it is for the region and state of Georgia and nation. Um, and um, at times, uh, out of a house of prayer, a church can be birthed, but um, our focus is really to pray and to equip the mature saints to do the work of the ministry through intercession and prophecy. And so that's what we've been doing since August of 2018, for some of you who may not know what we've been doing. Um, and we, we don't have um, a mechanism to really refer you to a church. We certainly will pray for you. And I want to give you my email up front if you have um any questions? My name again is Tanya Dennis. I'm the campus leader for the Awakening House of Prayer here in Atlanta. And my email, if you want to reach out to me at any time, is Atlanta at AwakeningHouseOfPrayer.com. So that's Atlanta at AwakeningHouseOfPrayer.com. So I want to start us out this morning by just sharing. Well, really, this it's not morning anymore. Of course, it's the afternoon or evening. Just sharing a scripture. Um, that the Lord had put on my heart really over the last couple of days. And I want to encourage and inspire. And then I have some people who um, had already agreed to pray. And then um, we're going to go from there and let the Lord just do what he wants to do. We have about 40, 45 minutes. So I want to share this scripture with you. The Lord's been speaking to me as I encourage you today and lead us in prayer. Uh, Exodus 23, verse 29. I will not drive them out before you in a single year so that the land does not become desolate due to lack of attention and the wild animals of the field do not become too numerous for you. I will drive them out before you little by little until you have increased and are strong enough to take possession of the land. So I don't have to repeat to you all of the things that are going on in our nation and in our region, uh, you all know. I hope that if you're on this call, you are a mature intercessor, or you're asking the Lord to grow you up in the things of God. But I, I, I want to bring out uh, two words in that text that I want um, you to think about today. And that is the, the words drive out. Um, and it is our responsibility as mature intercessors to be kingdom believers, not to be on one side or the other and to know what God's agenda is for our region, where we live, where we work, um, and what God is wanting to do. And before there was ever an, a coronavirus or economic collapse and, and, and calamity in our, in our la nation and in our land, we had a word from the Lord about what God was doing in Atlanta and in this region. And I want to encourage you to hold on to that word and to drive out anything that the enemy tries to bring into this region that would hinder the purposes and plans of God that he has in store for us. So I want to encourage you today and inspire you there are so many things, so many 
awful, awful and devastating news uh, events even today that we heard about and things that people are uh, want to do as a result of the decisions that have been made with Breonna Taylor or wh whatever it, it, it could be regarding the Supreme Court or the elections or anything we see in the news. But as kingdom believers, I want to encourage and inspire you to stand above that and rise above that and know that your assignment and your authority that you have in this region, if you live and work in this region, is to drive out anything that is not of God and that is not of the kingdom of God. And we are not here to take sides. We are here to take over. Okay, so when we see that a storm is coming or that their plans to riot or um, or whatever it may be in the area, economic disaster or unemployment is rising, whatever we see, it is our job, even though we may be affected personally by those things, to understand the kingdom agenda that God has for our region and to drive out anything that speaks against that. And if you want to know the kingdom agenda, look in the word. Um, and, and for us here in Atlanta, we've been prophesying and praying and decreeing godliness uh, in the leadership of our state and our region um, for since we've been uh, in existing. We've been proclaiming that there be no diabolical storms that come about that take away um, life or that steal um, our uh, economy or that harm our children. We've been praying for many, many things and we've seen God answer his his prayers for us so i want to just start us out in prayer and i have as i mentioned several people who i've asked to pray we don't have uh, a full hour even tonight but we want to make sure that we are um, um paying attention to the time when we pray and we're not this is not a political prayer at all so i want to say that up front our purpose here again is to pray and prophesy what the lord is speaking the kingdom plans that he has for us uh, in this region and in this nation as intercessors who are taking authority and rising up in what God has called us to do in this area. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare the purposes and plans that you have for Atlanta, your beloved city, your beloved city in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, that what the enemy meant for evil, God meant for good, and you, you had already positioned us as the Awakening House of Prayer here in Atlanta and Buckhead to pray and to prophesy oh, yeah. into the region saying and decreeing what would be the purposes for this region back in August of 2018 and since then. And we thank you that what you are doing and what you have planned for us shall indeed prevail. We, we decree kingdom and godly leaders be elected into position in our upcoming election. We decree an end to abortion as we know it and specifically a rise of kingdom people to adopt and to bring about kingdom solutions for families and others who feel that they have no other alternative. We thank you, Lord God, that the unemployment in our state is lower than with the national averages. We decree that our city will not burn again. We thank you, Lord God, that even though we may rise up and pro pro um, protest, um, that it is not the Lord's will that our city burn another time. But in fact, there is a root of awakening here in Atlanta and a, an awakening shall be our portion. We shall rise up and have revival in this, in this region. There shall be an individual awakening in the lives of believers. And because of that, we shall indeed see an awakening and a revival in this region in the name of Jesus. I decree right now that what the enemy thought in terms of domestic terrorism and plans to bring about civil wars and, and, and food, um, uh, um, uh, contamination and other things that the enemy would want to bring to this region through um, airplane uh, attacks and other uh, diabolical weather um, patterns. We just break that right now in the name of Jesus and decree that where we live, because we live here, because you have a kingdom purpose and plan for our lives, and we live here, we shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. The purposes and plans that you have for our lives shall indeed prevail. No weapon formed against us in this region shall prosper. And we thank you that the saints are rising up, the churches are rising up, they're not closing, they're opening, and whatever in a way innovative measures and plans. That that you've given us, we're going to open and we're going to proclaim the word of God and do what you've called us to do. I decree that the church is rising up. We're not on life support anymore. We're not dying. We're not out and, and for the count, but we are indeed and in fact 
rising up for the kingdom purposes and plans that you have for us and no weapon formed against the finances of the church the leaders of the church shall prosper and so father right now i even repent on behalf of the church in atlanta and the church in georgia for fighting and 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 and, and infighting and have having division and other things that we have put in in place of your kingdom agenda you have her, you have caught our attention, God. We are awakened to you, what you want to do, and, and we repent and we turn back to you. In this season, uh, this, this Rosh Hashanah new, new year season, we decree right now that we are awakening to your plan for us, for what your vision is for us in 5780, for what your calling is for us individually as the body of Christ, as people who believe and who live in this region. We are awakening to the call of God on our lives, and we shall become all that you have for us. We just come against the enemy's plans. We had already spoken, and we bring to your remembrance that our city will be a beacon on a hill, that the One Race Movement and the Reconciliation Movement movements among churches and pastors and, and, and the movements of healing will in fact prevail and, and the prayers that have pray, been prayed, the fasting, the prophetic acts, the, the gifts that have been given. God, we ask you that you would hear us and, and that you would hear our prayer and that you would answer us and not allow us to succumb in this region and even in this nation to what the enemy has spoken. Father, we pray that you would put a, 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 a stop over our, our mouth when we try to speak judgment about candidates and 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 what is going to happen in our nation which we heard somebody say but you didn't speak we just cancel all that we break every word curse and every lie spoken against our nation against our region against where we live where we work against our family we decree psalm 91 and we decree that no uh plan of the enemy shall prevail and no plague shall come near our dwelling place no plague shall come near our our region no plague shall come near our our city and even our state god and our nation god we just cancel every diabolical plan to further advance the coronavirus and bring additional uh, pandemics. And we just break up all of that. And we thank you, Lord God, that you're hearing us and you've sent your angels uh, and, and that the angels are winning and have authority and are winning over the enemy, enemy's diabolical plan for destruction over this nation. And we bless you, Lord. You are our Lord. And so we praise you and we glorify you. We lift you up and we know that you've heard our prayer and we agree with you for what you want to say and what you want to do. And we thank you for that right now in Jesus' name. Ron. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. For the kingdom of this world shall become the kingdom of our God. We declare that thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth that is in heaven. I decree by God that not only are the angelic hosts of heaven deployed in our streets, but they are revealed to our people so they will know it is the Lord who does this. I decree and declare that at this time, in this season, that our people who have been shut in, who have become discouraged, who become disheartened, who has been, have given their ears and their eyes and their minds to what the world is saying will stop and say, I have heard the voice of the Lord and it is a mighty thing that he is saying, that he does indeed rule, that for a season of time, he has allowed these things to run rampant, but now, but now, yes. but now is the season where he is about to put a stop to it. He has created a new baseline in the church, a new baseline in the lives of his people who are called by his name, who have sought his face, who have declared and decreed these things, who have established in the housetops that thus saith the Lord, the kingdom of God will rule and reign. I speak now, Lord God, and decree and declare that, that mm -hmm. our schools will reopen, mm -hmm. that there will be no divide because some people can afford a tutor for their students and some people don't even have a computer for mm -hmm. their students or for their kids to learn. That their schools will be open and our teacher will not be afraid to teach. Yes, God. 
I decree and declare even now that the principalities and powers of rulers of this age will understand that they are defeated. That the persons that the persons who raise themselves against God and who use place and power against the eternal word of God are exposed and expelled from the public arena. I decree even now that as even as Apostle Leclerc has said that we are entering into a hinge season, it has also been declared by uh, Apostle by other Apostles and Prophets that October is a hinge month where we are going to see God come with the holy angels and swing. I encourage our people in the name of Jesus, be not discouraged, be not dis afraid, be not disheartened. I encourage you to seek God in a new and living way. I encourage you and declare that the that we are not alone, that God comes with us, the Holy Spirit and the angels surround us and will fight the battle for us. We just have to be, not be disheartened. We just have to have the faith to believe that God is going to do everything that he said he's going to do. I speak, Lord God, that even as I have seen on, on Facebook and different posts where people that call themselves members of the household of God no longer call people brother and sister, but call them by some political party. I call an end to this division in the church. I call a separation of the, of, of the believers from the demonic. Mm -hmm. I speak who has known you in a new and living way for years, and I have never seen such nonsense. And I pray, Lord God, that we stop looking at one another as if they are the enemy. But because we have are joined by the blood of Jesus, we are unified. I decree healing over those that need healing in this hour that have sat and not had the opportunity to see their doctor mm -hmm. or have become discouraged, their mind is, is, is trapped. I decree that the body and the blood of Jesus keeps us well and keeps our family well. Yeah. I thank you, Lord God, that you are Lord of us and that you are continuing to work in this season and that you are establishing a breaker anointing in each of us. Yeah. That in this year, in this decade of pay, of mm -hmm. the voice, that we no longer sit back and say, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But it becomes incumbent upon us to speak and declare, to pronounce and declare, to proclaim and declare that the kingdom of God is at hand. We are entering into a time when there's going to be a great revival and a great reformation among the church and in the world that many souls will be saved because of what's going to take place in the next coming days. We have even seen now, Lord God, that things are moving swiftly. Who would have thought Two weeks ago that we'd be, we'd be looking at the things we're looking now of a new Supreme Court justice mm -hmm. or the things that are being done. But you have established what's going to take place. You have established your order and we are watching your word come forward and your word being manifested and your work being done. I pray blessings on the people on this call that they cause not their heart to be troubled, neither let them be afraid because God in us is greater than the enemy who is out there. Mm -hmm. And he would come in opposition of those satanic attacks on our minds and our bodies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Roxanne. Lord, we give you all honor and glory and praise. We give you all honor and glory and praise because you are worthy. You are worthy. God, I am just reminded of how strong you have made your people mm. and what you are doing in this season in your body and it encourages me it excites me to see them gathered together here um, on this call so lord we declare that we have a strong city and mm. that you have set up walls and ramparts for security yes, lord indeed. open the gates that the righteous nation may enter 
the one mm -hmm. that remains faithful, the steadfast mm -hmm. of mind, you mm -hmm. will keep in perfect peace yes. because he trusts in you, oh God. God, that's what we declare over the body of Christ in Atlanta, mm -hmm. in Georgia, that this is who you are, that you have set up walls and ramparts, that you are our security. God, we declare that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and nothing takes you by surprise. We thank you that you are binding up the spirit of fear within your people in this day and in this hour. And you are releasing, releasing faith. Lord, you are releasing faith of a mustard seed beyond a mustard seed and, and so much bigger that the faith we're going to come out of this season with as a body is going to be greater and we are going to see your miracles arise we're going to see the things that we have never seen in your body as we gather together lord even i'm, I'm even reminded that we're going to have these times and these seasons where um we are going to see the train of your robe fill mm -hmm. the temple your presence fill the temples fill the churches fill the gathering spots to the point that uh, your 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 priests your servants cannot even do the work of the ministry that your presence is coming in and filling because of what we've learned so lord we ask that you would just continue to speak to us continue to speak continue to say the things um, that you have said once before many times before and let us know and discern so that we walk in that spirit of wisdom and revelation that only you can bring by your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. God, we bind up that spirit of discouragement and depression that has set in in some of your people at this mm -hmm. season, and we release the joy of the Lord right now. We, we don't accept it into our households, mm -hmm. into our family units, into our region, and we just say no. We cut you off at the root right now, discouragement and depression, and we release the joy that comes from the throne room of the God who knows all and sees all mm -hmm. and is the King of Kings and is the one who goes before us. So Father, as you gather us back together as the remnant people, the, the end time warriors, um, Lord, we look forward to the things that you set our hand mm -hmm. to. Um, and, and we just, we just press forward, Lord. We're not walking in that discouragement. We're pressing forward saying, yes, this is a new season and a new time. And Lord, we are excited to see what you're going to do in our nation as you set us up. Because Lord, we declare that we are one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I received that. Uh, I don't see Dan Flag. Uh, Deborah, can you pray now? Is Dan Flag on? I don't see him. Go ahead, Deborah. Let me unmute you. Are you talking about me? No, it's I another didn't, Deborah. Right, I'm glad. You <laughs> That's okay. Hold, hold on, Deborah. I can't. I can't hear her. Hold on. She's praying away. Hope. Um, can you unmute yourself? Um, okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for this time, God, that we're redeeming the time, Lord. I thank you, Lord. It's just like we've just come into fellowship together, Lord, like being back at church, God. Oh, I thank you so much, God. And the two words, Lord, that, that has come to my mind, Lord, is stir up, God. Stir up in us, God. Stir us up, God, the gifts that are in us, God, for your glory, Lord. Let our desires be put down, Lord, and let your desire rule in our heart, Father. Yes, there's so many since all these things that have been going on, Lord, um, as I reflected on uh, the beginning of this year and how things have transpired. And, and Father, I, Father, I just come before you, Lord, and I lift up 
each and every one on this call, Lord. And I thank you, God, that that those that are uh, for our nation and our government and our beloved Atlanta, Lord, and all the things that we've witnessed uh, through the television of of the hurt of people, God, and, and, and the destruction, Lord. But we can take heart, God, because, Lord, you, Father, you are the one that, that you are still in control, Lord. And we just, we come before you in unity together tonight, God, that, that we are here to um, join our hearts and minds and, 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 and spirits, um, uh, to be spirit-led of you, God. Uh, yes. Father, it's not about our opinions, and and that's something, Lord, that you've been teaching me, Lord, recently. Mm -hmm. God is, you know, uh, I didn't realize how much that I have been. Uh, I, I give my opinion. It's not about mm -hmm. that, Father. I pray, Lord, that um, that it's 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 what you want, and I'm praying your will to be done, Father. Your will, praying your will, not what what I think or anything else, Lord. But as we come together in one mind and one accord here tonight, God. I thank you for activating our faith and stirring us up, God. Stir us up just um, in a mighty way. Let that fire, God, let that fire that's down deep inside us, Lord, be stirred up tonight, God. That you, you know, we have hope, Lord. We have the hope of Jesus. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but we don't have that to give to the world and to Atlanta and to our community mm -hmm. and to those even in our household or our family or church, God. Father, that we have such compassion. And that's what, Lord, that I think you want uh, your people to be so full of your compassion and your love. Yes. It's your love, God, the Thank love you. of God. We got to pour it out, Lord. Pour it out like liquid gold all over everything and everybody we Thank see you. and talk to, that we have hope and joy and peace and long suffering. And, and yes, there's things that have happened in our families and we see that's devastating and it hurts our hearts, Lord. Um, but Father, we have you, Lord. You, we have you, Lord. Oh, you're the author and the finisher of our faith, God. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Lord. And, and I, I, I thank you what Ron said about being um, that uh, baseline. And, and well, that was, uh, Tony, you said that. But God, the, the hinge month, God. And that's what you've been, I've been seeing a lot of doors. And, 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 and one of the things, Lord, that you've spoken to my heart is give me the unhinged life, God. Yeah. I don't want to be hinged to something that, that's, uh, uh, that's not of you, God. I want to be unhinged. So that my life, wherever you tell me to go and what you want me to do, Lord, that I'll be ready and willing, Lord. And I thank you for everybody that's on this call tonight, God, and those that, that, um, that, that, that as we come together more and more, Lord, that, that your will is being done in Atlanta. And that God, with this, um, we want your will to be done in the government and the, uh, the yes. people. They're, people, they're hurting. They're hurting, God. They're hurting, Lord, the people's, their, their mm -hmm. motives and their emotions and, and everything is just raw, Father. But we want to stir up the good gifts that you've given us, Lord, as mm -hmm. believers. We have something to offer. We have something to give, Lord, and it's Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood. Thank you, Father. We plead the blood, Lord, over our country. Yes. We plead the blood over our families. We plead the blood over those that that have um, that have had loved ones that have passed away during this season of the this COVID virus and everything. Lord, it has been so hurtful. People like being shut up in 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 their homes and and so many things. Lord, that but you've not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. And Father, we declare that over our, our cities. We declare it over Atlanta, our beloved city, Atlanta. Yeah. And that, like Tanya said, Lord, we're not going to see it burn up with fire, but we're going to see revival. <laughs> we're going to see revival fires coming up everywhere and yes. churches uniting together. That's our heart prayer, God, tonight, mm -hmm. Lord, mm -hmm. that everyone will come together in unity, Lord, and love each other for the, the cause of Jesus. Yes. And this end time revival and awakening God, we will see it before our very eyes mm -hmm. and we'll rejoice because we're a part of it, Lord. So I just thank you, Lord, for tonight, God. And I thank you, Lord, for um, Tanya making this available for us to come together, Lord. And I praise you and give you honor and glory in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Deborah. Look, I wanted to share this with y'all before I forgot, as you were praying, 
I thought about uh, the, the incident that occurred um, when uh, there were, I can't remember what, uh, what it was that, that sparked it, but there was a lot of uh, the original George Floyd um, incident that occurred yeah. and there was uh, protests that turned violent and they, they began leaving the city and moving into Midtown and they were there were certain stores that were rioted and looted and they moved into Buckhead. Do y'all know where they stopped? Where it stopped? Where did it stop? <laughs> <laughs> it stopped at Wyuka. In fact, the, the place where we were praying at for the last 18 months is where it all stopped. And, and, and no further could any of that destruction go up into the city of Atlanta. So I just want to encourage you to know that it's not only our prayers. It's not because we're so super special, but because God honors his people. Uh, and I know we were there for a reason. And Lord willing, God will open up opportunity for yeah. us to go back there. Um, if that's where he wants us to go. But there was something very specific and, and strategic about us being there uh, in the city. Um, and I just want to encourage you to know that your prayers are very important and very strategic and very powerful. And God is hearing us. And, and we are um, uh, our, our prophetic activists. Remember, if y'all, any of y'all remember that word I gave last year it was it would not leave me god kept sharing that with me and i shared it again in january that we are called to be prophetic activists people who get a word from the lord who are called to go to a certain place at a certain time and do a prophetic act to shift governments to shift uh legislation to move things before anyone ever knows about this in the media this is what god has called us to do for mature believers not to go and um and, and do our own agenda. I was in uh, uh, Baltimore uh, and last maybe two weeks ago. And um, before I got on my plane, I had to drive to DC. Well, I'm from Baltimore. So I used to work in DC and I've been to DC many times. So I, before I got on that plane, I drove an hour to DC just to spend 10 minutes on the grounds of the Capitol to prophesy and decree what God wanted to do in that city and in this nation because of who I am, my boots on the ground, because I know the prophetic anointing on my life, because I know God's plan for this nation, I had to go there for 10 minutes. It was not a waste of time. It was very specific and it was very um, uh, um, God led in terms of why I was there uh, and what he called me to do. So I want to inspire you all to do whatever it is God is calling you to do. And that may mean drive somewhere, um, whatever the Lord is leading you to do, walk around somewhere. If there's a storm plan for my community, I'm, I'm taking a, a prayer drive. I go through several subdivisions as the Lord leads me. I, I go through, I know some people prophesy and pray on the next door app. Do y'all have the next door app for your community? I do. Um, so they get on there and they put scriptures on there and they ask people if they want to pray. That's another way that God can use you. And while I'm sharing that, I want to encourage any of you who feel a real thrust from the Lord to start a prayer group that uh, Apostle Jennifer has the Awakening Prayer Hubs. Um, so if you are, are interested in leading a, uh, a group of people, whether it be via Zoom or, or in your home, if that's what you're comfortable with, or on Facebook or however the Lord is leading you, maybe you'll use the next door app. I don't know. But um, God has provided a vehicle for you through the Awakening Prayer Hubs, um, uh, uh, a part of Apostle Jennifer Le LeClaire's ministry, to um, have resources and support um, to cover you and to give you training so that you can provide the support that you need uh, to pray for your region. And we want some of, some more of those in this area, in this region. So it's awakeningprayerhubs.com. If you haven't heard of that, I want to encourage you to do that. So um, if I could ask Teresa, Teresa, are you available? I, I didn't ask you previously to pray, but I'd love to hear uh, the Lord use you in prayer tonight really quickly before Ashley. Teresa, are you available to pray? Yes. If Yes. Can you I pray? Am. Yes. Can you yeah, pray? Yeah. Okay. So the scripture that's really been running through my mind as other people were praying is from Galatians that says, 
you, somebody talked about um, us dying um, or not dying, but I, I pictured a person on an operating table, the body of Christ symbolically, mm -hmm. and having the heart replaced. And they were on the verge of death, just like the church that had become weak and powerless. And they, it was like Christ inserted a bionic heart and himself. And I thought of this verse, I'm just going to start praying. Amen. Lord, you have said in Galatians that I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ lives in me. Oh Lord, we're asking tonight for a supernatural infusion of you into the church lord mm -hmm. we had become such a powerless shell with no mm -hmm. life and mm -hmm. you have allowed the shaking and the just the the pain and the wounding lord it's like you took the the surgeon's scalpel and you have been taking away what was holding us back from what you wanted to do and Lord, you are now letting your power, your spirit, your blood, your very life flow through us. So Lord, we just declare and decree that the blood of Jesus Christ is pulsing through the church right now, through the bride. And when you said that we would do even greater things than you had done as a human that was fully God, fully man, Lord, show us what that is. Mm -hmm. Show us where we need to step out and take those risks and take, take that step of faith, Lord. I agree with the prayers that have been prayed tonight that we will not be bound by fear. We will not be bound by the fear of man or the fear of consequences or what people think or even the fear of failure. Lord, all of these things that have bound us, you have not given us, for you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and sound mind. Mm -hmm. So Lord, we just declare over Atlanta, over Georgia and over the nation, the power of the living God, the love of a loving God and sound mind, Lord, clear thinking, enough of the delusion, enough of the deceit, enough of the chaos, enough of the confusion mm -hmm. that the enemy has planted seeds among mm -hmm. even your people. Lord, we're not surprised that it happens in the world. We're not surprised mm -hmm. when a person is dead that they can't see life. But Lord, your people, I thank you for the new thing that you mm -hmm. are doing in your body Lord, you are flowing through us, your spirit. We are the vine, you are the branches. You are flowing through us. And I just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. And we say, come, come and do what's in your heart for our city and our state and our nation in Jesus' name. Yes, amen. Thank you so much, Teresa. Praise God. Dan Porter. Can can you? Hallelujah! Yeah, mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your holiness, Father, that you have placed on this line. We decree and declare, Father, that your authority rules and reigns in Jesus' name, not only in, among us, Father God. But amongst the entire body, amongst those, Father God, who you call to be intercessors in this hour, Father God, we just thank you right now and decree a breaker anointing, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for purity, Father. Right now, in Jesus' name, I just ask, Father, that you would cleanse my heart, that you would cleanse our hearts, Father. We thank you, Father, for giving us the mind of Christ. We thank you, Father, for loosing us, Father God, from whatever weights, whatever things, Father God, that's not of you. We thank you, Father God, for the anointing of God purifying us father we thank you father we ask for a cleansing fire father god 
not only in our hearts, Father God, but in those, Father God, who are praying, Father God, in this hour. We thank you, Father, for holiness, Father God. We thank you for holiness, Father God. We pray, Father God, that the move of your Holy Spirit, Father, will begin to cleanse this land, Father. We thank you, Father, for the vine. We thank you, Father, that as it has been said, Father, that we are the branches and you are the vine, Father. We thank you that from you, Father, we can receive new anointings, Father. We can receive your grace, Father. We can receive your heart, Father God. We thank you for your love, Father God. We pray that you would ignite a fire, Father God, for holiness in your people, Father God. For your word declares, Father God, that if we, your people, Father God, we, if we, Father God, who are called by your name, Father, that we will humble ourselves, Father God, that we will seek your, your face, Father God, that we will return from our wicked ways Father God, and repent, Father God, that you will be the one who will come and deliver us, Father God. You will come in, Father God, with fire, Father. You will come in, Father, with your cleansing blood, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for arrows being released right now from heaven, Father. And we thank you for the downfall of every enemy, Father God, who stands in the way, Father, who stands in places, Father God, that you have set up for yourself, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Give us the mind of Christ, Father God, so that we can see, Father God, on a higher frequency, Father God. We just decree and declare, Father, increase, Father, in our ability to understand what you are saying, Father God. Give us ears to hear, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for an increase in the prophetic. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you, Lord God. You showed me, Father, a vision of an eagle, Father, soaring higher and 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 higher. So we thank you, Father, that you take us higher and higher, that you take us from glory to glory, Father God. We thank you, Father, for a new level of purity, Father God, so we can handle what you're trying to put on us, oh God, so that we can be ready, God, so we can be ready, Father God, so we can be ready, Father God, to deal, Father God, with the wickedness in the spirit, Father, so we can cry out, oh God, so we can cry out, Father God, against these evils, Father, so that we'll be worthy, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you're removing the stuff, Father God, in us, Father God, that causes you not to hear us, Father. We thank you, Father God, that you are giving us, Father, a, a new heart, Father God. We thank you that you are making us over again, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that we will no longer Father, uh, have peace, Father God, in yesterday's manner, Father. We will no longer, Father, be satisfied, Father, with the old oil, Father, even with the old flash, which is us, Father God. We thank you, Father, that you are making us into new, new creatures, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that we are receiving new wine skins, even now, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for whatever it is that we, as we receive, God. So we give you glory, Father God, for a new wine skin, Father God, for a new grace, Father God, for a new time, Father God, for a new dimension, Father God, for new intercessions, for new assignments, Father God. We give you honor and praise and glory, Father God, for you are the one, Father God, that demolishes your enemies, Father God. We thank you, Father, that your garments are stained with the blood of your enemies, Father God, so only you, Father God, can deliver us out of the hands of the enemy, Father God. Only you, Father God, can bring justice to those who are oppressed, Father God. It's only you, Father God. So we thank you right now as we sit in your presence, Father God, as we, your servants, Father God, come together, Father God, to pray and seek your heart, Father God, to ask of you to do, Father God, that which only you can do, Father God. Help us, oh God, Father, to come in line, Father God, with what your mandate is in this hour, Father. Help us, Father God, to pay attention, Father, to the words that we receive, to the dreams that you give us, to the prophetic unctions, Father. We thank you, Father God, for help us, Father God, to receive the mandate, Father God, that we won't be lazy, Father God, that we won't allow others to bring us down, as it has been stated on this line, Father, that we'll be mindful of what we say, because we know the power that rests in us, Father. We'll be mindful of what we speak. We'll be mindful of what we do. We'll be mindful of our actions, Father God, because we are we are concerned about being worthy of the calling, Father, that you mm -hmm. have called us to, Father. So we thank you, God, for grace. Give us more grace, Father. Give us more grace to serve, Father. Give us more grace to hear, Father. Give us more grace to do, Father. Give us more grace to be, Father. And honor and all honor and glory, Father God, will be unto you. But we thank you, Father God, that you that do these great things in this hour. It's you, Father God, who will cry out through us, Father God. We thank you, Father, that the power comes from heaven and it comes from you. 
on the throne, Father. So we thank you, Father, for increasing your prophets, for speaking to your intercessors, for causing us to fly high above the confusion, high above the darkness, high above the shrouds and the clouds of the enemy, Father God. And no matter what he's speaking in those second heavens, we'll be able to see because we are seated higher. We are seated higher with you, mm. far above these things, far above what oppresses us, far above what attacks us, far above what tries to slip us up, not because of us, but because of you. So we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing, Father God. Be our strength and give us feet like hinds feet, Father. We thank you that we shall not fail because of you. We thank you, Father, that because you defeated the world, we also will overcome the world, and you have even caused us to be more than that. So we thank you, Lord, that you have made us to be overcomers. We thank you, Lord, that you have given the sword of the Lord. You have given us your word. You have given us your word, Father. You have given us your heart. You have given us your power. So we thank you, Father. Teach our hands to war in the season. Give us new techniques, Father God, so that we may be profitable in the things that we do. Teach us how to profit, for you are the Lord, the God, Father God. You are the Lord, our God, that leads us in the way, and you teach us to prosper and to profit <laughs> in Jesus' name. So, Father, be honored, be glorified. Thank you for the unity that you've given us. Thank you for being here with us, and we praise your holy name. <laughs> in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I want everybody to unmute yourself. Can we pray in the spirit right now? I just feel like we need to pray in the spirit. Can you all unmute yourselves? I allowed you to unmute yourselves. Can you do that? And let's all pray in the spirit. I just feel the need to go in deeper into that after that. Yeke rabo so raba satarava 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 sataya. Oraba sandiria corraba calale or robo so to rabaca satire. Yeke te te or robo so to raba sandiria corrabacaya. Yeke raba sandiria colale or robo so. Yeke te a rabacata rabacatari. Yeke se a raba sandiria corrabacale soto. Erracasata arracata hat harabataya. Orabaca. Yete rakatane re okora kataya rakasataya ora kataya lelele okora kataya yeta rabatan para kataya hota rakasata rakasataya hota rabakataya ora kataya rakataya ora kala lelele okora rakasataya lelele okora kataya Sataya, Rabaka, 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 Sataya, Rabaka,
Hallelujah. Ashley, if you could um, lead us now, thank you for all that you all have been doing in your prayer. So thankful for that. I felt the need for us to do that right at that, that time. So thank you so much for that. Um, Ashley, can you lead us now as the Lord is leading you um, as we continue in prayer? Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Holy Spirit, for your tangible presence. Thank we you, thank Lord. you that you are not bound by any time, space, continuum. Uh, You're not bound by uh, technology, Lord. You show yes. up and you show up in glory. And so the Lord has put uh, Matthew 5, 9 through 11 on my heart. And so I just wanted to read it over us. And so it says, how blessed are you? when you make peace, mm -hmm. then you will be recognized as a true child of God. Mm -hmm. How enriched you are when you bear the wounds of being persecuted for doing what is right, 
for that is when you experience the realm of heaven's kingdom, how ecstatic you can be when people insult and persecute you and speak all kinds of cruel lies about you because of your love for me. And that's the wow. passion translation. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Lord, we just thank you that we are called to be uh, peacemakers. Yes. We thank you, Lord, because you are calling up the peacemakers, Lord. Lord, I pray that we would carry peace, that we would put on the full armor of God, not just in this season, Lord, but daily, that we would not forget to put on our armor and our our shoes of peace. And I just had a, a word of knowledge. I don't know if it's somebody on this call, but I just feel somebody has just a, a super heaviness of anxiety so much mm. that it's it's affecting their chest and they have tightness in their chest and you take wow. a deep breath and you and you still can't um get a full mm. breath of air and so if that's you i just pray over you right now in the name yes. of jesus that all anxiety would be broken off of you right now in jesus name yes. that all peace would come over you and that you would feel the presence of the lord that you would not be shaken by the things of this world, but that you would remain rooted and grounded in who God has called you and that you would not be afraid and that you would not take on oppression and depression that doesn't belong to you. So I bless you now in Jesus name. And I say anxiety go. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray for our intercessors. I pray for everyone on this call and every single intercessor that you have called that has been on watch in this hour, Lord, mm-hmm. that you would that you would rejuvenate their spirits, oh God, that you would visit them in the night hours, that you would fill us up, oh God, so that we can continue to pour out and remain in this state of, of a watchman, Lord, calling things that are not as though they are, Lord. Mm -hmm. that you would bless the intercessors, that you would bless their time with you, that you would bless their lives, that you would bless every part of their Mm -hmm. being in the name of Jesus, and that you would awaken more of your body, Lord, to come and pray in this hour. There are so many words that have gone out of things that are are, going to come out and yet to happen, Lord, and there's this spirit of fear that has been looming and, and trying to brood over the United States, but you have called us to arise to to combat that lord and so lord i just pray for every intercessor that you are awakening even right now that you would just speak to them and that they would come to the forefront they would come to their posts and and stand in the gap for for your nation lord god that we would stand in the gap the gap for for those in need lord for those that are even in sin lord that we would stand in the gap and that you would have mercy on your people in this hour, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that even you would recalibrate our thinking and our visions and our words. Lord, that you would even put a bridle in our mouth in this season, that we would be conscientious of our words, that we would not complain, but that we would speak life into situations, that we would not create and, and, and breed fear, but we would speak life and release love in our words. Lord, I just come against these witchcraft prayers that go up, that come by well-meaning people, Lord God, but that you would put a a, a conviction in our heart of what we are praying, that we would not pray things that are out of your will, that you would bring us into alignment with your will on earth as it is in heaven. And so we declare that today, that this would be an open heaven and that there would be on earth as it is in heaven. Hmm. Lord, I come against, and I I just thank you, Lord, come against. I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for Mm -hmm. all of the things that you are exposing this year. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you for shaking. It's not fun, and we don't like it. But Lord, there has to be a pruning for new life to bloom. And so you are pruning us and we thank you for that. We thank you for exposing the tactics and the plans of the enemy in this hour. And we bless that and we say more, Lord. Shake it up as much as you have to in order to bring us around and to bring a recalibration on this earth to focus on you. 
Lord, I thank you because you have been exposing the sex trafficking rinks around the nation. And I say more, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord. Yes. But Lord, not to, that we find them, but that's the first step of that you would raise up many, many organizations and ministries that are Holy Spirit led to, to bring healing to these traumatized women, children, and men that have been trafficked and put in the most deplorable situations, that you would bring healing to every part of their being, Father God, that you would bring them into a complete sozo. Mm. And so I just bless that, Father God. I bless those ministries that are, that are going to be coming out now and that the world would partner with you, that would partner with kingdom people to bring this about, Lord God. Lord, we pray your will on this earth, your will over your people. We thank you for, for your love for us, for your peace, for your majesty, because you are holy. And Lord, make us a holy people. Release the fire of the Lord on this nation, that fire, that all-consuming fire that consumes us, that awakens us, that ignites us, that brings us to our knees and repentance, but brings us also to a transformation and a reformation, Lord God. So we bless that. We bless what you're doing. And I bless every single person on this call this evening, Lord God. Mm -hmm. I thank you for their hearts for prayer. I thank you, Lord, that they are willing to stand in the gap. I thank you, Lord, that our nation is not cursed, but we are blessed. I thank you that although there have been prophetic warnings, Lord, that you say if your people cry out, then a situation can change. And so, Lord, we cry out yes. just as Abraham contended with you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, how many righteous people were there? Lord, there were 30-some people on this call. Mm -hmm. And so I know that I know that I know that you are just and you are righteous. And you have mercy on your people. So we thank you for the mercy, Lord. And we ask that you would ravish every heart, every heart that has experienced trauma this year. The amount of trauma that has taken place this year is insane. Lord, I pray for supernatural healing of traumas that are deeply embedded in people's DNA and generations, Lord God, that it would be broken and severed this year. I love you, Lord, and I thank you, and that you would seal these words upon our heart, Lord God, and that you would do a new thing in us as well, that you would take each of us deeper into a deeper place of yieldedness to your spirit, that we would come out refreshed from the cave and not worn down and beaten up and fearful but that we would arise as the warriors you've called us to be, the warriors that you have created us to be. We bless your name, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Ashley. Praise God. Before we go, we, we're right at the end. Um, Roxanne had a word. Did you want to share that, Roxanne, as we were praying in tongues? Did you want to share that? I don't know if you can unmute yourself as we get ready to go. Um, and I also, can you, let me see where you are, Roxanne, let me, all right, can you unmute yourself and just share that as we were um, praying? Yes, I can. Um, I just felt like as we were praying, the Lord just kept giving me the word fight, and I'm like, fight, 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 and then he said, love, and then just that he was releasing assignments over Atlanta. Um, to his body, to his bride, to fight and to love in this season. Mm -hmm. And that those are not contradictory things in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. In the kingdom of God, we fight for those things we love, for those people we love. And mm -hmm. uh, that he is throwing out strategies and assignments right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. And before we go, um, I wanted to also let you know next month, I think it's October 11th, Sean Foyt and his ministry, Let Us Worship, will be coming to Atlanta at Piedmont Park. 
If you haven't heard about it, you can go to his website, seanfort.com. And we want to at least support that in, in the area of intercession, just praying, if nothing else, because we are um, assigned here to this region. We want to support and come alongside that ministry in the area of praying and intercessor intercessory prayer. So I want to encourage you to do that. And also awakeningprayerhubs.com, um, Apostles um, uh, uh, Ministry, prayer ministry, that you can begin in your home or wherever you are um, at your job to um, to sow into the region through prayer by gathering people um, to pray and prophesy, um, more, more so just to pray intercessory um, prayers for this region. We desperately need uh, intercessors to rise up. Right now, God is calling uh, us um, to raise intercessors and specifically apostles been uh, assigned um, to make prayer her life's work and specifically for this initiative, 1000 prayer hubs. So we want to um, be involved in the area of prayer. And I want to bless all of you tonight. And I decree right now a sealing of the blood of Jesus over every one of us, every, over every household represented in Jesus name. And I thank you, Lord God, that you have called us um, to pray. And because of that, you've uh, assigned us with angelic um, protection and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I decree that no backlash, no intimidation, no retaliation of the enemy shall in any way uh, harm us and that you've given us the new assignments that you said will be ours. you calling us to fight and in, in, in the love and we love you and we thank you and we bless all of you and we thank you. We're going to get back to you very soon about um, meeting again. How often would y'all like to meet? Once a week, um, once every two weeks, once a month, put it in the chat box and let me know what your thoughts are before you leave. God bless you. We love you. And I'll see you very soon. Put it in the chat box and let me know what you think is a, a reasonable amount of time to uh, meet regularly. I'm going to unmute you if I can. Okay, you can unmute yourself two times a month, once a week, once a week. Okay. All right. Two times a month. Okay. We'll figure out what makes sense once a week, every week. Um, okay, go to awakeningprayerhubs.com, Kamu. Awakeningprayerhubs.com. You can find out all the information about that two times a month and somewhere between two times a month um, or and once uh, a week. Okay, and we're also trying to get um, situated with a meeting that we'll have in person sometime here very soon. Um, on out, an outside meeting, um, perhaps at, even at YUCA. So we'll, we'll get back to you very soon on get, that. We love you. Thank you. And I will be uh, in touch with you all very soon. If you need to reach me, my email is atlanta at awakeninghouseofprayer.com. God bless you all. Have a great, great evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>